Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to Cloud Nine Blessings, the channel that brings dreams, visions, and near death experiences visually to you. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. If you have had your very own rapture dream, vision, or near-death experience, and you would like to have it made into a video and shared here on the channel, please email your submission to cloud9blessings at gmail.com. You are also more than welcome to email it in by audio or video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a dream that was emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Daniel. He shares with us experiencing the rapture in his dream, along with seeing destruction. And in his email, it says, Hello, Amber. I hope that all is going well. I wanted to share a dream that I had. After coming into information about the rapture and hearing the various perspectives, I asked the Lord to show me what the meaning of it all was, and I had received this dream. This experience occurred on February 17th of 2023. The Lord had called me to do a three-day night fast, water only, when I started my fast in prayer, I had asked the Lord for a visual experience with him. I carried on in my day and completely forgot about this request. That night, I was snapped out of a random dream and all of a sudden, all I could see was white. I noticed that I was walking and talking with a man and slowly my sight had started to come back. I looked down and had seen the feet in sandals and a white robe. In my spirit, I instantly knew that I was with Jesus. I started shouting and freaking out in excitement. You're Jesus. Oh my gosh, you're Jesus. He started to laugh and smile as I came to the realization. I could only see his face from the nose down. I could only look for a few seconds at a time as there was a bright light coming from him. As we were walking, I felt this overwhelming peace and nothing else around mattered. I also felt in my spirit that he knew everything about me, but only had the good things in mind. I was rambling off many questions to him and he would laugh or smile in the moments of our conversation. Then all of a sudden, I heard him say in a very stern voice, It's time. I asked, Time for what? As he walked ahead of me to the door that opened out of nowhere, we were in my city and it was night. I called out to him as he was walking ahead, as if he had a mission. I then started to hear, what sounded like cars honking. I heard crashing and people that were yelling. I also noticed that everyone looked up to the sky. It then got quiet and I see what looked like shooting stars leaving the earth and going towards the sky. A woman shouts, God is coming in my spirit. I knew that the rapture was happening. The fear of God instantly brought me to my knees. I bowed my head with my arms stretched out as I pleaded with God to forgive me for any of my wrongdoings and not leave me here. I then heard a booming from above and I saw what looked like portals in the distance that were opening. A woman calmly walks up beside me and starts looking up. As I am still pleading with God, I had a quick vision, a flash of an explosion that began to appear right behind me. It looked just like a mushroom cloud and I screamed, take me God. I then noticed that these portals that opened up in the sky were a bluish purple 
with many stars in it and a chromatic overlay. They had rings of fire around them. What I seen was not earthly and still very hard to describe. A lady that was beside me had her legs and arms that were going back and her chest stuck out and she began to float right up. A bit of dread came over me and I said to God one last time, please don't leave me here. At that moment, a light shined on me and I screamed in excitement as I felt my feet float off the ground. A white cloud filled with light and a holographic rainbow looking fire came rushing in, consumed another woman beside me. She disintegrates and her spirit goes off and up. The cloud hits me and I blacked out. While I was blacked out, I could hear myself asking, what just happened if I'm alive and I couldn't open my eyes until a third try? It was 3.50 a.m. My heart was pounding out of my chest. I was pacing back and forth in my room and went into prayer and worship. I was brought to tears and felt a strong sense of urgency. I could still feel the presence of God. I then heard the Holy Spirit repeatedly say, there's no time, time is up. Jesus did not allow me to remember our conversation, but I look forward to knowing when I see him again. Let this experience be a reminder to all of us to be like the five wise virgins and to stay on the narrow path. Love God with all of your heart and love others. Thank you, Amber, from your brother in Christ, Daniel. Thank you so much, Brother Daniel, for sharing this very vivid and intense end times dream with the channel. It was so very powerful, and I'm sure it will touch many people who see this video today. May God bless you. In every season of life, we can turn to the Bible as our guiding light. And there are many Bible verses about love to deepen our understanding of our relationships and verses about encouragement that will lift us up when we are down. Even when hard times make us feel weak or depleted, the Bible's verses about strength can heal us and give us a lot of strength. Strength comes from God and our faith in Him as it is written in Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. With all that is happening around the world, it is very important to stay strong and to stay in the Word of God because that is what will lift us up in these times of wickedness all over the world. But we have our blessed hope and that is in our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. I hope that this video has blessed you today. Thank you all so much for watching and may God bless you all.